Hi everyone, welcome back to PJ's CAD class. Today we would like to make a toy screw. In this video, you're going to make in two parts. One part is the screw itself, and the other part is the female part for screw to get in. Ideally, you can make the female part in any shape. Uh, in this demonstration, we are just going to use the same shape as the screw part. Let's take a look on what kind of command we need to use for this demonstration. To make this toy screw, we will need to use the following commands. Um, curve tool that is going to define the shape. Extrude a planar curve. It allows us to extrude the curve to become solid. We'll use a helix to define the screw curve and we'll pipe the curve to become solid. Because if it's a toy, we want to fill it all the edges and of course we're going to use um, offset curve to make sure that part will work well. After create all the part, and we are going to use a bowling unit and difference to make sure two part will go well. Notice that this is the template for millimeter. In a lot of machine, the printing tolerance, which is the difference in between two part, should be at least minimum 0.002 inch. And putting here one is is equal. 25.4 millimeter that is going to give us about 0 0.05 millimeter for the tolerance we are going to start from the top view and the polygon um, we are going to use the polygon command um, you can create any shape that you want in this case I would like to have size equals 6 for the head and I also want to turn on the grid snap so they will snapping into um, 20 millimeter in this case I'm looking in the perspective now and this is the curve I just draw I want this growing to the solid so extruded planar curve goes straight I would like to go straight up for 10 millimeter. As this is a toy, everywhere need to be rounded. So I'm going to give it a radius on all of them to, uh, for one millimeter. So they look nice and round. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go back to the top view. This time I wanna use the circle snapping to the zero point you can have the circle as big or as small you want with this circle i'm going to extrude it into the solid as well it's going to go straight and as again you can extrude it any length you want now i need to have this one to be rounded as well so going to the solid tool and variable radius fillet and I choose the bottom one and again is one millimeter radius now I have done this two part I'm going to use bowling unit so they become one single piece as I said before we like to have a radius everywhere and that including those two um, in between those two forms so I'm going to use the radius and again one millimeter to create this screw head once we have this head we need to create a thread for this screw head command we are going to use is leaving under the curve tool and the second one on the bottom is helix it asks you where's the start axis we're gonna type it into a zero and I'm going to move it down my mouse. I don't want to go all the way to the bottom because that, the thread will stick it out. 
I will do somewhere just a little bit above the bottom. Then you kind of see, let's turn on the front view, you kind of see this thread here. In Rhino preset, you have turn is equal 10 right here. We want to change it to somewhere maybe 3 to see how does it look. All right, look okay. So this is the thread that will follow the shape that we have. Let me highlight this. Okay. All we need to do now is to pipe it. So I pick up the curve and I go into the solid tool. You have this for pipe. And I'm just going to eyeball it the size. Double click on the enter. Then you will get the thread like this. Now we have done the thread. We just need to go ahead and boolean unit. Let me turn this off. Okay, so we finished the first part. I'm going to the other layer. And then I'm going to use exactly the same curve that we have. And then extrude it. Under the solid, you have extruded planar curve. You want to go straight. And again, you can go as deep as you want. I'm going to turn off the green part right there. And make sure it has round edges all the way around. So I'm going to pick up all the edges. Hit enter. And then you will have a nice round edges. Let me turn it on right there. Okay. Now we need to cut the part that is exactly dimension with the cylinder that we create. So we are going to use exactly the same curve. This time, um, let's take a look on the top view. We are going to pick up the curve we have when we creating the screw head and then we want to um, offset to make it bigger and we just need to make it slightly bigger by 0 0.05 and I may just want to be in case want to do 0 0.08 so now I have a bigger curve and let's go ahead and extrude it the curve and you just need to have it a little bit longer than the screw head. Let me turn the green off. And you can see now we have two parts there. So that's the use of bowling difference. U will be subtracted by U. So now we have interior. Don't forget to put the radius on everywhere. So let's put one here and one here. So they are nice and round everywhere. Okay. When we turn on the screw head, you, and then let me zoom in, you will know that notice that the wall on the white part is slightly bigger, so allow the green part can get in. All we have left is the thread on the white part. So let's go ahead and pick up the curve that we use helix to create for the screw head. And then let's go ahead and pipe it. So the Rhino will remember what we had last time, and last time was 0 0.722. I would like to have it just slightly bigger, and the minimum is 0 0.05. So let's go ahead and do 0 0.1 uh, addition. That's going to end up with 0 .0, uh, 0 Now we have this part. Let me turn off the green layer. This is the thread that we create. Let's do the bowling difference. U will be subtracting by U. Now we have this thread. If I turn on my screw head, and then you can see the uh, the white part is slightly bigger, so allow the green thread will easily to get in. 
this is full hour tutorial today thank you for watching and see you around for my next video